hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn how to replace the sky and how to retain the hair details in nuke you can see i have a few examples here and in those examples i am mostly using merge operations to replace the sky and then on top of i'm adding hair details manually what i mean by manually i will show you in the script but just to show you the examples you can see if i expose down you can see this is the plate we get and this is uh, from action vfx i will put the link so you can download this exact plate and anyway so you can see this is the plate and this is the comp in these two examples i'm using the same sky but you can see the how they are looking so this is the sky and this is with the sky replace so i change the sky here and also i retain these hair details if you can see if i zoom in a bit you can see these hair details is matching closely to these hair details so this and this and all these background edge and this background edge also is matching in this second example this is mostly for the this fine hair details so in this one I, I also did the sky replace you can see this is the plate and these are the two examples one is with the same luminance but this is darker this is little bit brighter and the second example is more darker you can see how good we getting the hair detail we need to do a little bit work you can see we can see a little bit of white edge here all over the place but i will show you how i blend these hair details nicely with this dark background because we see here we have very bright sky here if i try to blend the darkness we get a white halo here white edge basically so i will show you how i handle these things and i also going to show you i made a custom tool for you know to blend the hair details and hard details here so let's quickly see the script and I will walk through the my process of replacing the sky in Nuke. So you can see uh, there are three examples here. So first I will show you this one. You can see this is the plate and this is uh, as I said this is from Action VFX. You can download. I will put the link down below. I will show you the what I did basically. So the basic principle is we have this luminance and if I press Y we can see the luminance and if we uh, do uh, like here in the viewer you can see yeah we can extract this and you can basically add a sky right so this is very easy way so in this one i have this hdr uh, i'm using this full hdr i'm using a spherical transform here and if i open the properties i'm basically turning this lat long so this is the lat long image and i'm converting this lat long into rectilinear so what this means if i put this so this is hdr so this is a 360 image you can see it's bending and curving so we need to apply this on a sphere and then we have to render through scanner render so we can do that but instead of doing this we can also use this spherical transform which is doing exactly the same thing so if i take the new spherical transform so this one and if i just plug this one and if you view it here by default it's doing input is lat long and output also lat long so we need to change this to rectilinear and now you can see this is looking very good we also need to change uh, the scale to format so now we have nice format resolution you can see they both are same but the direction is different so you can see there is there are one shortcut control alt left mouse and drag so if i press control alt and left mouse you can see we can pan and we can do a lot of things just like we have a camera in 3d space and this is like a big sphere and we are just orbiting around and we are we can do fun stuff like this we can align the horizon line and which which sky we want to see and all these controls are here if you want to change manually here x and y and x y and z so you can do that here and this is a shortcut this is exactly what i did and doing that i align this I like this uh, sky portion. I have a horizon line, I think, somewhere down here, I guess. So then I did my little bit of CC and the defocus a bit. I will show you uh, what does this mean. And then I am just I'm just just overing this on top like this on my entire plate. And after that, what I am doing, I'm just doing a key, just like basic generic key, and just doing like this. I'm just turning this thing off. Then I will show you what I did and little bit of alpha blur and then pre mold. So we have this and and then i'm adding this on top so why i'm doing like this instead of you know uh, most of you are doing like this you can take this like and we can just mask this no we can just do stencil so we have this and then we are putting on top you can do that so th this is the another way of doing this but this is the wrong way i will tell you why so in reality uh, this sky is 
also visible behind this pillar behind this character right but because this character is front uh, of the sky that's why you are not seeing it but technically it's there right so we have to comp like this entire sky on top of the plate and then we have to add character separately on top so this is the best way of you know comping any element not just for the sky and it's very helpful when we you know matching uh, the edges and blending the edges together so this is exactly what i did in this example you can see in here and in here first i will show you what i did in this a pipe so here i did a little bit of additive so how i did that we need to add this fine hair details on this sky so when we merge on top we can see the fine hair details right so for that i just erode this plate a bit like this and did a little bit of blur and then i did the divide because of that divide you can see we get these all the edge details and then i did a multiply here and with the mask only where i need it and then i put everything on top of the actual plate now you can see this is the so the comp is like this and if i show you so this is the roto and make sure in the merge you set your rgb to rgba so it will not gonna replace the original alpha otherwise it will replace whatever alpha is coming from uh, this a site so make sure you uh, choose this output rgb rgb not rgba okay when you're doing a multiply operation now we merged this thing now it will look like this now in this second pipe i basically did a simple luma key and just you know just for the example i'm doing only one frame you can see i'm uh, adding adding uh, alpha where it's needed you can see here and here so i'm just filling the holes and removing extra uh, sky from the plate so because i need only this fg part that's why i'm doing that now you can see i'm doing the same thing here i want to add a bit of detail so so this is the this is the look you can see it looking good but we can see the white edge if i expose down if i zoom in a bit you can see the white edge on his hand white edge here so if i turn this on you can see most of the white edge are gone in the gun also little bit here most of the things are gone here also yeah, here is not affecting because i think we don't have roto there yeah so it's only affecting this part so if i add a roto to this gun you can see it's gone all right so how it's how is doing how i'm achieving this uh, this kind of stuff so ignore this uh, you know, this saturation so let's focus on the the actual process so okay so in this in this side i'm what i'm doing basically i'm just you know uh, doing a min max operation so i'm not using max i'm using the only main operation and i'm also using multiply so i'm just trying to you know blend these edges with this uh, help of uh, this color what we have here i will tell you the whole process first i am creating alpha so i'm only targeting this part and then second thing here i'm i have this exact the the plate itself and i'm doing a inverted filter erode so what this basically doing you can see it's just killing the highlight in the in the plate it's just basically a inverted erode you can see the both are linked but in the first one if you play if you make a positive second one will go into negative if i increase you can see it's getting more darker darker if i go into negative if i if i go into negative it will get more brighter brighter so in this example i need darkness so i'm getting a, so i will put a 20 and then i'm adding a bit more blur to even this thing out after this i'm just doing a min operation so what mean is doing is basically just targeting a dark area so let's highlight only the dark area is affecting and then i'm doing a multiply and in, in all those things i'm using this mask so this mask is affecting only this area and then i'm doing a pre-mult because i have alpha and make sure when you're doing these operations make sure you set your output rgba here also make sure you set rgba otherwise your alpha is going to change so i don't want that so i'm just keeping that and then i'm putting this over this is the plate this is the sky we added and this is the fg we have two things separately the sky and the uh, and the fg plate fg character and now you can see the on of this you can see it's blending very nicely obviously uh, we need to match with the plate you can see in the plate we don't have this much of darkness in the gun so we can reduce it manually but this is the whole idea of you know adding a sky and retain the hair detail and the hair you can see if i compare with the plate so this is the plate i have here and you can see it's one to one and if i reduce you can see the sky is completely changed and because we have this uh, multiply here we have all those hair details so if i remove these things now you can see they are no longer matching 
this is very helpful technique let's see the second example so this is the second example and in this one we are on mostly focusing on the hair details because she have very nice uh, fine hair details adding sky just overing the bg but in this one instead of uh, just overing the whole sky just like i did in this example in this in this example we are just overing the entire sky in this example i'm multiplying this thing so it's not over it's multiply so in this one i'm not replacing the sky i'm adding a sky details here that's why i did a multiply we can still see the original sky here you can see the cloud here so i'm not replacing the sky i'm just adding a sky details and because it's adding everywhere because it's a multiply the same thing we have to do we have to you know separate the fg so i'm doing fg like this i'm adding a fall off and just overing this thing so now if i disable you can see uh, the original sky is still there but we added a bit more detail you can see the cloud and all those things it's looking very nice and you can you know you can always go here and tweak the color and all those things so now the last thing i want to show you is this is the big one and i will tell you why so in this one i have the same uh, this lady in this one i'm using this my uh, tool this is the hair tool i created so this is is basically doing uh, this operation what we are doing here uh, divide and multiply to get uh, this fine hair details in this example uh, i will show you let me put this one so we will show so i will show you from the beginning what i did so this is the same thing we have a plate we are merging with the sky and just adding a foreground on top but in the first one we use over operation right and in the second one we use multiply operation and in this third one we are using min operation so you can see this is the sky and i'm just doing a min operation and it's only affecting the bright areas here you can see i'm just disabling this one so i'm doing a very simple keying here this is the alpha wicket i'm just filling with the roto the inside part and just doing a pre, uh, little bit of blur and just doing a pre mult so obviously we get this white edge and if i merge this one it will look nice because the sky and this original sky and this sky the luminance is the same that's why you're not gonna see much issue but if you increase or decrease the brightness of the sky no not the increase if you just reduce the brightness of the sky then you're going to see uh, this issue so now we we are having this white edge and we need more hair details i mean the hair detail is there if i disable this thing you can see so first of all uh on this and you get the nice multiply hair detail additive so this is my tool so i will explain this one in my future tutorial for so just for now you can just see i'm using only the additive so i'm just adding more hair details and in this one i'm basically i'm not using any additive this is just to fix the hair you can see now if you on of this one you can see it's very nicely and matching and we get more hair details because in the plate we have hair details if i gamma down you can see we have hair details but because of the luminance of the background we are not seeing and it's not 100% match you can see we still have a white edge here but you can solve that but we came from uh, uh, this uh, this white edge uh, to this so if i show you on off you can see how far we came from this and i'm only targeting this uh, only her face you can see like this okay so in this tool i have many uh, we have many options here to refine this a bit more so i usually uh, try to like i usually mix this a little bit so we can see a little bit of hair details so let reduce this amount like this and usually we're not gonna go this much of darkness but i just want to show you the point so let me quickly revert this back and reduce the sky amount a bit more reasonable value so maybe 0.5 is good and you can see if i disable this tool we still see some a white edge issue and before now it's very good and in this one i have a additional uh, control to get more hair details so you can see this is the fine fine details so if i disable you can see we don't have much detail here now we have more details so this is another and you can mix this and you can add details and reduce details so I will explain this tool in my future tutorial so if you want to know more about this tool and I will put this tool in my project file also so you can download this project file and you can get it from there if you want to experiment with this tool so the main point of uh, this tutorial is to you know add sky like this just over entire sky and then add your FG on top and in between just do additive like this to add more hair details and then you can blend sky 
uh, with this tool or you, can, or you can just remove this white edge whatever technique you know so let me know your thoughts in the comments so these are th this is the way i do a sky replacement this is the my way of doing uh, comp and obviously there are some issues here so but i'm only focusing on the hair details and replacing the sky or adding a sky cloud and all those things here so let me know in the comment what do you think and we will see you in a way next one thank you for watching